Laundering Benghazi. Obama unleashes Biden on the campaign trail. Biden aggressively chants, GM is alive, and Osama bin Laden is dead, which enrages Al-Qaeda, who respond by chanting, One billion bin Ladens. They launch attacks on embassies and consulates throughout the Muslim world, and burn effigies of Obama while promising to avenge the great prophet. That sounds like a declaration of war. Because of Al-Qaeda's threats, Biden is instructed to stop spiking the football. The raid on the U.S. consulate in Benghazi results in the death of U.S. Ambassador Stevens and the loss of classified information, potentially the names of operatives infiltrating Al-Qaeda. This does not fit into the Obama re-election narrative. Osama bin Laden is dead, Al-Qaeda is decimated and on the run, this latest act of terrorism cannot be allowed to tarnish Obama's record and campaign. The wordsmiths already used man-made disaster and workplace violence. How about movie rage? The Obama machine elects to spin the attack into a peaceful protest that got out of hand. It cannot be a planned attack. It must be sold as a spontaneous protest over an obscure video nobody has seen. The cover-up begins. The mainstream media is quick to aid this president. The rest are fed misleading information, also known as lies. Top-level officials put their titles and reputations on the line. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, White House Press Secretary Jay Carney, UN Ambassador Susan Rice, and Director of National Intelligence James Clapper. The cover-up is set. A disgusting video instigated a peaceful protest that grew out of control. Youssef, the video's maker, is perp-walked for the world to see, but not for inciting a riot. He is arrested for a minor parole violation and thrown into solitary confinement so that the media cannot get to him. Part of last year's NDAA gave our dictator unlimited detention powers. What Bill of Rights? We don't even know who was perp-walked because he was completely covered and has many aliases. A little wag the dog, anyone? Let's get that made-up video exercising freedom of speech into the public domain ASAP so we can condemn it. And make sure to refer to Yusuf as Egyptian-American and not Muslim. We are learning the president and company may have been watching the attack live. They could have tried to help Ambassador Stevens, but Obama remembers Carter's failed attempt to rescue the hostages in Iran. To protect his re-election hopes, this event needs to be delayed till after the election, and Stevens is abandoned. The video will be the laundering conduit to convert the planned terrorist attack into a peaceful protest gone bad. Obama embraced this cover-up, along with his accomplices. Nobody died in Watergate, or the Lewinsky scandal, but both presidents were impeached for lying to the American people. U.S. Ambassador Stevens is dead, and Obama is more concerned about the pending election. The attack will be sold as spontaneous. Al-Qaeda is renamed Al-Qaeda proper. Putting self-interest before the country's safety is called treason when it involves a foreign power. You decide. What comforts you more? Obama ignoring and covering up intelligence? Or Obama's claim of not having intelligence?